हेलो हेलो गुड आफ्टरनून मैम हाय यू क्वेंच योर थर्स्ट या मैम आई जस्ट केम टू माय क्लास दैट्स व्हाई इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट टू ड्रिंक वाटर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज़ दो इट्स रेनिंग इन मेनी प्लेसेस आई थिंक डिहाइड्रेशन इज राउंड द कॉर्नर people are really getting mm. dehydrated and we need to le- take lot of water important mm, yes yes okay so how are you i'm doing well ma'am how about you how your day has been up till now it's good it's fine it's going great i think a break in between is also good so i think i got some break last week and uh, it's fine going usual but good so is this your first session are you to some of them no 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 i have finished a, finished a couple of them and maybe i think this is the fourth or fifth session couple more to go yes do you enjoy teaching them actually this is not teaching i don't teach anything even on my youtube channel i don't teach anything but i enjoy training and mentoring so that i enjoy because i don't think language can be taught because i myself i don't think anybody taught me english they just help me take the right guy, uh, right direction so training and mentoring is something that i enjoy because um, it helps me to show them some path something you know when people are discouraged when people are in the wrong track or uh, even learning from them brings some sort of enlightenment in my life so that's what i'm enjoying yeah anybody anybody may teach you anything and Sorry? impactful idea anybody can teach us anything new and insightful idea may come from anywhere even beginners insightful can teach us yes 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 so that's the beauty of taking classes for adults learners because most of them are responsible they are shelling out their own money and when they come for a session if they are really serious about learning they will tell the problem they are aware about lot of things only thing is we have to guide them so most yes. of them want only guidance because the internet is there to teach you or to give the meanings of the words even there are a lot of free resources on the internet when it comes yeah. to english yeah yeah I, if i talk about internet you may learn from so many things from them but you yes. don't understand how to implement utilize them that's why that's why we have mentors and mentor. guides yes yeah, yes guider. correct correct hmm whether something i am able to use it proper way or not in proper way or that's not. that's right because some methods can be wrong and it can be misleading also so why do you want to take yourself to the edge edge of learning mm-hmm. where you fall where there is a tendency to fall over yeah so yeah. better <laughs> better late than never yeah i have read some books of grammar as well as watched so many videos on youtube so description of some books or teachers everybody has a different opinion about something okay e- even in pronunciation i cannot say to you that you know it very well that uh, british american both have different pronunciation Mm-hmm. either either neither neither so new learner sometimes they confuse they get confused that uh, where what to use if you do not have proper guidance if somebody does not guide you somebody does not guide you it is quite difficult to overcome yeah to you can get easily confused you may become bewildered yes yeah in the yeah in the beginning when i started my journey i got you know, i used to get confused a lot i used to get confused a lot if somebody came and talked to me like either i had i read either so okay. i used to get confused so mm-hmm. we both started blaming each other no my word is right mm-hmm. he or she was saying no his or her word mm-hmm. is right so when okay. i started finding i when i started finding out so eventually i got to know so many things but in the beginning it is quite difficult to tackle all these problems that's true you learn you learn with time you can't learn everything in a day 
there are a lot of people even the native speakers i should mention i have been repeatedly saying this through my youtube channel also even the native speakers learn a lot about their language after becoming trainers or after reading more about it because any language keeps changing our hindi also keeps changing sanskrit we know anything about sanskrit we don't know do we know everything about hindi we don't know we don't know much hindi literature and the richness of our regional languages is much beyond words we just use it that's all but when we read more about it we know the richness yeah ma'am yeah. i got something to ask do you speak hindi i know hindi i think hindi i i speak read write how many languages it's only because of only because of i think the hindi serials that i used to watch and bollywood movies i used to be a very big fan of hindi serials zee tv yes zee tv taught me hindi <laughs> <laughs> and of course i had teachers in schools you know like all the teachers were from north india and they were hindi vidwans oh my god they used to be very strict but at the same time very encouraging i still remember teachers used to say what hi you are saying it's hai he say hi it's not hi hai there are different so they used to say it's not like that it should be like this so like that i still remember even when i read something today i can hear the voice of my teacher the teacher is no more sadly unfortunately but Sorry i can hear that. her voice yeah his voice i can hear i think that's important even some of the english teachers that's how a language teacher should be the voice resonates how many languages should do i know means um, i don't think i know every la any language very very well <laughs> but uh, how many languages i know like i told you hindi i can read speak to an extent and even write and my teachers have told me your hindi handwriting is good so fine so teachers have told then arabic i can write and read arabic and understand a bit french i know a bit i can read write understand the songs and all when i listen to songs because that was part of my non academics then what else malayalam of course my mother tongue very fluent i can read malayalam i don't know how to write it's a shame to say that but i can read i can speak very well but i don't know how to write being by my mother tongue english i can speak read write okay i have also published books in english so my learners and readers will have to decide whether i know english properly so i think the first preference is malayalam and english then comes all the other languages and tamil i can understand i can speak also but i am very comfortable with hindi than tamil tamil i can't read i can't write also but i can understand when i listen to songs and movies i can understand so ma'am would you like to speak some sentences in hindi if you don't mind we don't we don't have to speak it here no here it's like i know that some tutors use english but during the training sessions also we were asked to use english yeah because we are towards learning english and i know that you are uploading all these sessions on youtube here we are not taking the proficiency of hindi but if you really want to know my proficiency level check my youtube channel there are people who cannot even you know sometimes they cannot express their thoughts in english so they write in hindi hindi means they use a hindi script not hindi english script so there i have responded in hindi and i can assure you that i haven't used google sometimes they use english script and use hindi to ask ma'am is it correct i mean is yeah. it okay to do that and do this so there i have yeah. responded so there you can check okay ma'am no problem i think a lot of videos have got my answers so here it is a language it is a platform i know that some learn uh, teachers are doing it but lot of uh, you know students and learners have told me i don't know why some of the tutors not everyone are using hindi maybe it's to help you understand but you can use hindi because when you when you can't speak your problems you can use hindi it's okay we will understand and we'll respond okay yeah this right. is the fundamental i used to use when i started learning english i ne never spoke in hindi with learners who wanted to learn english 
that's correct that's good instead of translating and using the language that you know i mean it's a tendency we always use a familiar language so it helps you to think yeah. in english it, it is quite comfortable to switch english to our native language whenever something doesn't yeah. come back in our brain we switch to our native language see we have this advantage of being born in a country that that is um, exposed to different cultures and language so we keep switching english hindi or if suppose you go to mumbai marathi if you know marathi or any other language that you are comfortable with so i don't think it's difficult for an indian to switch languages yeah. it's possible because language means a little bit of culture also so we embrace all the culture so when we embrace all the culture we can we have the ability okay some people don't want to use that ability that's the only difference yeah actually you know we are emotionally attached with our native language we can express our feelings emotions effectively which is not possible to ex express our feelings in english language this is the it is possible one. it is possible because um, uh, like if you ask me i have seen people doing it like yesterday also i was reading a book this person is from kerala but the beautiful english that he has used to write about history and culture and politics it depends on what extent you go i think i've already mentioned this in previous videos or whatever so yeah 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 it's not that you can't express you can anything is possible but you know again i don't want to repeat okay let's get into the session because time is running it shouldn't be me speaking all the time as i told you last time so today's topic is classroom memories okay yes, and you spoke about getting misguided misguided in life it's life is all about directions taking directions so can you look at this picture so this yeah, is a picture direction. you can inter yeah direction you have bi directions multi directions also can come your way though it's not shown here make use of this picture to tell me something more about getting guided getting misguided during your school days and college days you can make use of your classroom memories so think about your teachers think about your um, classmates you can think about anybody within the classroom and outside the classroom so make use of directions make use of this picture to speak about your classroom memories and all that you have been asking me now like using language getting guided mentorship all that yeah right so, so before i move to the topic ma'am first of all let me be frank with you i used to be a bank banker most of the time i did not used to go to go to a school but mm. what memory what memory i want to share with you that about my classmate okay okay so we were we were four of us most of the time mm. we used to bunk yeah we used to bunk the classes bunk the classes we used to go to the cinema hall okay, okay. <laughs> yeah we used to go to the cinema hall we used to go to the park we okay. used to go to everywhere but school okay so okay, really, but school okay yeah yeah so really we used to go to school yeah our presence was only once a week because we were part of government school we were part okay, of government okay we were visitors school. more like visitors just checking yeah. on what's happening updating yourself <laughs> oh, okay <Yeah>. so <laughs> right so the teacher whom i remember whom i remember who guided me when i was in 10th class okay when yeah when i was in 10th class people around my house they used to make a complaint against me that why don't you focus on that told my parents that why don't you focus on your child he doesn't go mm. to his school he mm. waste the time here and there so my mother took me to a tuition teacher oh okay okay tuition teacher tuition teacher his name was just like you ma'am he is no more 
ఎక్స్ప్రెస్డ్ ఇట్ but some teachers it's so painful like they are no more yes and yeah. that to helpful teachers yeah go on so when my mother took me to him he took my taste and he took told my, my mother took my taste okay taste about all subjects okay so he yeah he suggested my mother why are you wasting your money you oh. are, yeah you are son cannot study because i cannot see any kind of ability in him any kind of ability in him that he can do his study so oh. to be honest man i got offended okay hmm, because obviously. my yeah i got offended my mother felt ashamed of me that in front of her i was yeah. being humiliated i was being humiliated hmm. i ask the teacher sir give me a chance i just want to prove myself that i am able to do it today or not and okay to study or not so he gave me one month he gave me one month okay i gave you i sorry i gave you one month if you are able to perform better than now i'll okay. teach you otherwise you have to leave this place i'm like okay sir i will okay. leave so i started okay. i started studying under his guidance under his guidance he supported me a lot to be honest he supported me a lot within a month i got better i got met okay. better he used to appreciate me a lot that guy sir you are not able to study but right now mm. you are doing everything in a proper way okay okay yeah, in a proper way i can guarantee you in further studies you are not going to get failed he encouraged me a lot okay since yeah since then since then i always performed better in any field okay. not up to the mark okay. not up to the mark so whenever somebody talks about a teacher i always remember him on okay okay so, so he uh, with the right path of study right path so you he he led you to the right direction so you were almost like multi directional you didn't know what to do see bunking a class is not something that is offensive or it's not an offense as long as you're able to i i'm not encouraging people to do that but still once in a week going once in a week to class you have realized what you did with your time and he sh- i think subconsciously instead of giving you the right path saying beta you can do this you can do that he he first thing that he did was to drive you out of your comfort zone yeah. and he gave you a time frame within one month okay take it or leave it either yeah. you study within this one month or you leave forever don't study at all in your life so he was indirectly trying to drive you out of your comfort zone so whenever we are driven out of the comfort zone all the ability surges from within so you got better so maybe you you feel that you were a zero or you, you you did not have any ability because you never explored yourself so then you began exploring yourself because of the time frame you began trying something different and then of course you got better and you took maybe one direction from this that is to come to the conclusion i can do it yeah. just like yeah. any other classmate i can do and still if i work i think i can do i can be the best yeah right so yeah yes man so i always believe that there should be someone who can guide you in a proper way because we exactly. are being misguided every now and then even there are some teachers who are misguiding us so mm-hmm. this is your responsibility to find out a right mentor 
right guider a right trainer it is your responsibility otherwise you will be misguided that's what i believe yeah and sometimes class uh, our classmates also help us directly or indirectly they also inspire us they also guide us with yeah. with some so subjects just, or with some just, areas just think of yeah just think of it ma'am when i used to go to a school there were so many teachers but they never guided us they were they never took us took us to the right path when okay. i got to know about yeah when i got to know about study what does study mean when i went to tuition teacher he showed me the right path mm -hmm. yeah, okay. you know when i used to bunk the class i was the one who paid highest fine in my school during my okay. schooling we used to get fined if you bunk the class we used to get fined so i was the someone who paid more than other students okay so i so never so still before you were taken to this tuition uh, so before you were taken to this tu tuition teacher you did not realize you did not no. realize that uh, i don't have to bunk classes i mean i'm wasting my time so only that mm -hmm. teacher was an eye opener he was the main reason for that eye opening path of your life yes okay right yes so some some people so this was outside the classroom it happened outside the classroom because of your mother so yes. bitter moments can also lead to sweet memories <laughs> yes yeah. some sweet memories can also lead to learnings so you told me that your mother was like almost she faced that embarrassment you were you also got embarrassed but then that led to sweet memories and challenging with with lot of determination that's great okay so shall i give you the feedback yeah yes ma'am yeah actually i just want to add something here whatever i am right now credit goes to my mother whatever i am doing yeah she supported me a lot during my journey mm when when i used to feel down when i used to feel down my mother used to encourage me a lot that no problem this is not your day your day will come keep working hard mm -hmm. on yourself yeah true that's true parents are also the first mentors they are your mentors not teachers actually they help you in yes. every walk of life and when you have understanding parents they know you in and out right especially mothers it's not that fathers don't know but they know you in and out so they will be able to guide you and uh, support you mentally and financially still, and still, still, still when i feel upset depressed i sit in front of my mother tell her about my problems still okay. she encourages me encourages yeah. me no problem okay keep working don't worry mm. everything will be all right so that kind of motivation i always get from my mother and you gather you muster all the energy from nowhere right till then you feel down and that one word uh, you know brings about the spark it has a scintillating effect on you and then you begin fresh from where you stopped from that point where you felt bad true yes so that's also about direction giving the right direction when you're down so outside class memories and some good moments that you shared okay so um i'll give you the feedback quickly so i can see that you are communicating still very minute errors so i think you have to widen your thought areas only thing is it's it's good that you're speaking about your life it's good that you're trying to relate different moments with your life next time you can speak from general perspective so when you take a session with any tutor on english yari check yourself am i speaking from general perspective in order to speak from general perspective it's not necessary to have that experience your observation is enough like you said many teachers are misleading us today misguiding many people so like that general at the peripheral level oh. so that also helps with communication it's another tributary to your channel of thoughts right mm -hmm. so that's it thanks a lot time is up and thanks oh, for joining okay. me thank you right. oh, okay bye, thank bye. you very much bye 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 bye, bye.
like 